Hey everyone, I'm Sean Morley, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the new Braille printer from Quill. We're gonna make a variety of signs. Why don't I take this off, show you how easy that is to do for one. You can slide it right off here. It's a free floating design, so when it goes down, it's gonna drop a resin-based dot right on there. From there, once it's all set, you're gonna use a flashlight, go cure it. You'll see that as we're cutting it. Uh, it works really well, they hold really well. And just all around, it's a, it's a great option. You've got four different colors you can choose from, white, black, silver, or clear. So it's a quick deal. And uh, you know, all around, like I said, I think it's a, a great way to go about doing ADA science. So why don't we run over to the computer? I'll show you what we're gonna do for cutting these out and uh, we'll get started with that. All right, now we're back at the computer here. I've got V-Carve open. Let's take a look at what we're gonna do. We've got our thickness set to the material thickness 0 0.057. We're gonna zero to the top of the part. And that's all set there. If we go in, one of the big things I wanna show you is how we set up the quill. It is a drilling tool path. If we go in there, I just created a, a tool called quill underneath the drill path. And I set it at 250 inch plunge rate. Tool number 29, because that's what it is set up to work with inside the controller. So from there, I just assign the tool pass. Now, if you're going to create a sign and, and you don't have the exact Braille you need, I recommend you go onto Google, just search for a Braille translator and you can pull it right in here. Just import the uh, SVG or whatever file it is they got and, and you can assign everything to it right there. Uh, from there, we did a couple different V-carve. We'll just uncheck all these right now. First one is the V-carve, it goes through everything. We did a separate one, if I click on just that, and you'll see a few of them I did it in two passes. Now the reason for doing that is to make sure everything's gonna come out really clean. My guess is we're gonna be able to clean it out no problem either way. So we've got those. On the outside did a, I did another V-carve tool path just to put a little bevel on it, and then finally we're just gonna cut it out with a two fluid down shear. So there you have it. Now let's get back over to the machine and get everything cut. We got everything cut and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. You know, this Braille printer from Quill, it puts the resin down. You saw me as I went along as it was going with the UV light, cures it really well. It's really hard. It would take a lot of effort to pick something like this off and everything just turned out uh, fantastic. I'm really happy with it. Now, if you look at the way we cut things, I mentioned it in the software portion, but we had some parts that uh, we did two passes one uh, conventional, one climb cut. And we did that because cutting plastic once in a while, you're gonna get parts that may melt into it, um, stick in there a little bit. And if you don't do that second pass, that's gonna be more likely to happen. So the ones that we did in two passes turned out just perfect. You don't have to touch them. The ones that we did in one pass, if I take a rag like this, just a soft cloth, kind of wipes them off there, you can see all the, a little bit of fuzzies come out of there and it's a pretty simple process, but it just gives you an option of how you want to program things, what works best for you if you got one little part to do or um, a whole sheet. If you do have a shop saver machine, if this is something you're looking to add, you know, maybe you're a sign shop and you're looking to add braille printing to it. We do have some machines out there, we can add this to it. 
So give our parts department a call or check us out at shopsaber.com. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.